<coughs> Workers of Cult, welcome to the business meeting. Today I have discovered something that will hurt us on the submachine gun market. This in front of me is the German MP5 by Heckler and Koch, and it is making mad money. We must make something that can defeat it. We will replace it. Hey, aren't you the person who made that M231? Yeah. You seem like the perfect choice. I'm sure nothing can go wrong. Go ahead, you have 30 days. Hey boss, I have a seizure. Oh no, I knew that was a bad idea. What have you done? Hello there, my fellow cultured people. Today we will be looking at my Colt SMG 9mm AR-15 M4. Yeah, um, this is basically Colt's attempt to replace the MP5, which of course they didn't, cause the MP5 is just too good. And I should probably make one someday, but that's not what this video is about. Anyways, before we get into the working parts and disassembly and etc, let me tell you about something, something really cool. It's called the subscribe button. Today's video is sponsored by the subscribe button. If you like my content or like what you're seeing now, well, when I upload another video, you wouldn't know without subscribing. Well, the subscribe button can help you. Just click it with the bell on, and then whenever I upload, you will see a video, which I'm uploading every Monday. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, go ahead. Join the fellow cultured people, yeah. Also, like the video and comment something. Thanks. Also, join the Discord server to see my progress, suggest and vote for the next gun. Yeah, and here's the vote result. Let's get into the working parts. So here you see I'm not in my room, I'm not in my bed. I'm on the kitchen table because, well, um, I filmed this video very early and I couldn't make much noise upstairs, otherwise my mom would be mad, so yeah. When I was filming the video, I forgot to make the markings, so here are the markings. Um, look at the serial number, check it out. There's one bit I forgot to put on the gun, but I added it later. You can see that thing there, right? Yeah, let's continue with the video. So, just like how I make my other guns, if it has a working part, I'll try and make him. Simple enough, the stock works and it can be taken out. Um, there's only two holes for it to in go in position, because the real one is like that. That line is for me to know when to stop and adjust. And, yeah. And then we have a curved grip, nice and curved. You can see everything's really nice. And then a working trigger, really crisp and uh, light trigger. It's really nice. And um, yeah, you can see the trigger move. It's pretty nice. And then that's the safety. Um, it's connected to the other side and that little thing just goes like a real thing. Except for it that does, doesn't actually function like a real thing, it's just a pin. And that's the left side where the selector actually is. You can see that. And now these pins can be taken out. Uh, I'll take out the trigger pin later. Mm -hmm. So I'm working. I'm working mag release with drop three mags. That's pretty cool because um, the real AR-15 has a really tight hole. Wait, that sounds weird. But this one only uses like a using mag. So the inside, I can make it quite loose, and I get I can get away with it because the mag release will still hold the thing in, and I can make it drop free. And you can see this part; it's uh, real hard to make. It's just pain. The shell deflector is such a complex part. I spent a while on it. That basically how I did it was I just covered it with like paper like three times, and then just somehow got it to work. And then this is the uh, dust cover. It has this little slip at the edge there that can clamp into the gun like safe ejection port so and it doesn't fall out even if I shake the gun a lot so it clamps in tight but I can just take it out really simply and then these are just more details on the side and then the pins that they put in to block the mag in <clears throat> and then the back really nice and curved we'll look at the charging handle I tried to make it well, actually no I didn't try uh, <laughs> I didn't bother to make it work because it's just a really small part and I'm sure it's going to go badly so I just suck a piece but yeah anyways the charging handle works you can see it feels real good and nice to pull the charging handle it's so smooth and nice oh I love it that there is just the bolt release that doesn't actually work um, it's it has like elastic energy from the cardboard like my Beowulf it's just a little strip glued down but 
Uh, it looks similar like a spring, but yeah. It's just fun to tap it. And it makes a really nice sound. Here, listen. Mmm, yes, funny sound, haha. <laughs> so anyways, this is the other side of the map release. It's It functions like a real one. But, except for it's cardboard, so it's not really that strong, but it works. So, you can see, yeah. <laughs> and more details. And as you probably have seen already, this part, this little rounded bit, it's really hard to make. But I managed to pull it off somehow. And I'm really lucky, I guess. And then we look at the front here, the front hangar. This took me a long time to make. And I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. This is all basically just a round tube with a bunch of uh, like double layered top pieces of the cardboard and yeah and a sling mount which it puts a sling it can hold a sling on and then at the front here you have a bayonet lug that doesn't actually work because the barrel is not long enough i don't know why they put that there but it is there so i made it and above that there's a pretty detailed front sight as you can see it's just a normal m4 sight and it lines up there you go now it's time for disassembly and some pretty cool M4 tips and tricks. Yeah, let's get into it. Take the rear pin out first. So like the real M4 platform, everything's it's disassembled the exact same way. Then take the front pin out and it works the exact same way. And this is the lower. You can see that's the mag release of the spring. And yeah, that's how it works basically. Yeah, you can see it clearly now. That's pretty cool. And pins inside. And then how the thing gets pushed out as well. And these tops are just really, really reinforced and strong. So to make sure that the lower is actually strong and can hold up. And then the trigger pin can be taken out. There we go, there's the trigger. If you want to know how to make it work, watch my how to make trigger video. It's in the description or in the playlist, I think. Yeah. And then, yeah, it's, now we're going to just put it back in. Pretty simple. <coughs> and now, we'll, oh, there it is. It fell out. Um, anyways, the trigger works again. And here's our buffer spring and buffer pusher thing. It's not captive, like... The real one because I don't know how to make that uh, reliable, so I didn't. And I saw I can take it out and stretch the string if I as to stretch the spring if I actually need to when it like becomes weak because you know it's not an actual spring. And then, yeah, and so that's the rear. That's a lot of glue in there. You can see a lot of glue to reinforce it to make it strong. As you can see, I'm trying to bend it, it's strong enough that it won't bend. You see, one of the things in a lot of people's M4s is. That part always bends, so I learned from that. I saw this, and so I made mine strong and very, very uh, reinforced, and so it won't just bend on me even when I put my sling on it, which you can see in the start of the video. And I'll make a how to video about this soon, but first I have to film the 1000 subscriber special and stuff. So, yeah, that's it for the lower. Um, this is the stock, it works the same way as my Beowulf stock. Um, I know the spring isn't supposed to be there like a real one, but that's easier to make, and so yeah. And it functions the same way, it just pulls that uh, paper pin up a little bit. So yeah, that's it for the stock. Now here's the mag, it's just a normal mag. That little thing on the top is just a little slant, so that it can fit in smoothly into the mag release bar. So yeah, and other than that, it's all just a box. So yeah, that's normal. And now to the upper receiver. So the bolt just comes straight out. Like the real thing, there's no bolt carrier because the real one doesn't. Um, it's just a blowback gun and then just a little detail there. And that's the uh, charging handle. It doesn't disconnect from the bolt itself because that's going to be very complicated and failures might happen. And in the back is also just smaller than the bolt itself. So you can fit in there easily in the back. That's it for the bolt, just a simple little bolt. And then now to the rest of the upper, that's the back pin and the front pin. I mean the pinholes for the pins. That's just, uh, this carrier handle was pain to make. Uh, that's a, a lot of hard parts to make. But then, yeah, that's the sights and that does, that's the hole for mounting, like, sights and stuff. This part, you see some of the M4s outside, again, 
this this part bends a lot, so I adapt, improvise. I made this piece original piece up to like here. And this just goes over that and then this goes even over that so it's extra reinforced as you can see i'm trying to bend it and i can't really do it and it can hold a spring at a sling at the front without bending this is the barrel you can see in there and um you can see a hole through there and yeah there's extra glue here as well and now we're going to put the gun back together so first i'm gonna line these holes up and then i'm gonna Put something inside the hose. After that, I'm gonna put the bolt in. There we go. And then, and there we go. So because the buffer spring thing is not actually captive, it sometimes blocks the upper. So I just put the pin and push it in and I can put it back on. It's pretty simple. And then put the stock back in. Very simple. And then just, yeah, there we go. And then, there we go. That's the gun reassembled, and that's also the end of the video. I hope you watched till this part. Um, if you did, thanks for watching, and since you've watched this long already, why not like and subscribe, check out our sponsor. And I'll see you cultured people in the next one, goodbye. State of Florida has asked us to disclose our... Very simple and smooth. Oh wait, I forgot to put <laughs> I forgot to put this uh, buffer thing, bruh. Okay. Pew pew pew.